In his testimony before Congress, David Grush um, stated that uh, he was asked if we are, if the United States is in communication with these alien forces. And he said it's something he can't speak to except in a skiff. A skiff is like an underground facility, which is, you know, shielded against any kind of uh, uh, electromagnetic surveillance. It looks like maybe we are. Okay. You've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. Based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts, do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials? Something I can't discuss in public setting. I said in April of 2020, the United States military confirmed that these three videos were legitimate. In December of 2020, the retired Israeli director of space security came out and said that the United States and Israel are in communication with a uh, galactic federation and that part of the agreement with the galactic federation is that we will not disclose any of the information about their existence. Now, at the time I thought, okay, there's a few possibilities. One is the guy's nuts. Another one is he's retired. He wants to write a book and make some money. So, so he's selling out his integrity. But now that you have this secrecy going on that even the United States Congress cannot get into and is going ballistic to try to get into, and you have ex-presidents who are completely mum on the matter, and you now have this whistleblower who is a, who's a high member of the, of the um, defense intelligence apparatus, and you have Senator Marco Rubio stating that there's other corroborating uh, witnesses who are also actively part of the military program, and you have Senator Chuck Schumer also on board with this. And by the way, Senator Harry Reid, who is now deceased, he's the one who was funding one of these military uh, pot projects to investigate these UFOs going back decades ago. Now I'm starting to wonder, maybe this Israeli guy is telling the truth. Is he? I don't know. It's intriguing though. And I'll leave you with another little tidbit. Iran, as we all know, is, are, is trying to build nuclear weapons to, to attack and destroy Israel and to kill every, every Jew in Israel. Of course, if they do that, they're going to kill a lot of Arabs also because there are, there are over one and a half million Arabs that are citizens of Israel, full citizens. Israel has said that if, if Iran uh, attacks Israel before then, or if, Israel, if, or, if, or if Iran gets the bomb, then Israel is going to unleash weapons that have never been seen before. Now, makes me wonder, if you want to go through all the world, what's the country with the greatest concentration of scientists, of new developers of ideas, of technologies, where, where they understand that they're surrounded by enemies who want to destroy them and they're now singularly focused on surviving, it's Israel. And that this guy says that Israel and the United States are in communication with this alien galactic force. Who knows? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Previous to all this evidence coming out, I never would have entertained that it might be true. So a lot's going on, folks. And please don't be misled by what you see in the press and by the experts saying stuff who are not really experts. There might, might be experts in their field, but whether or not these aliens exist is not in the realm of physics. See, physics doesn't tell you if something exists or not. Physics is trying to develop mathematical formulas that can explain what's going on in the world around us. And then if they're, the, if they're at the highest level of physics, these mathematical formulas can predict, can tell you things that will, will hap that are happening that we've not yet observed. But to know whether or not aliens are real, that's not in the realm of physics. That's in the realm of, of reality, of evidence. And there is a whole lot of evidence pointing in that direction. <laughs>